Now, for Cavaletti poles, they are set the distance apart of your dog's height. So you need to measure the height of your dog. So they're going to stand up. You're going to place it roughly at their shoulder and take a rough measurement. It's about here. So this is the length of minion stride. So I'm going to set my Cavaletti poles this length apart. Now they can be slightly raised off the floor or with a pole on the floor. That's perfectly acceptable as well. Now, as Minion is quite tall, I've put them with a little bit of a gap off the floor. So there's about that much from the floor, good boy. Now, what we want him to do here is we want him to walk. <laughs> not run, not jump, walk. This is all about having him stride nicely through each pole um, without hitting them. Minion, good boy. Good boy. So you can see that was nice and controlled. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Now once they've got the idea, you can stop guiding them. Minion, leave, assist, sit, wait, and just pull them towards you. Again, this should be nice and controlled. Yes, good boy. And as you can see, that's a far nicer rhythm. Sit. Wait. Wait. Oh, that was a bit jumpy, but he did manage somehow to put one paw in each pole. Good boy. So I'm going to take him through again. Good boy. So he's now rushing, he's trying to cheat. Sit, wait. Back again. Good boy. Good. Now, for your novice trick, they can do this on lead. All we're looking for is that they can do the poles in a calm and sensible manner, that they're not hitting them, they're not jumping through them, and that they're striding nicely. This is a good trick to learn. Um, it helps with their body awareness, in particular at the back end, um, and learning how to stride properly. Um, a lot of dogs pace, which is where one side of the body moves at the same time. So they do this instead of all four feet. So this is what we're teaching them with Cavaletti poles. Good boy. Um, you can do this with proper Cavaletti poles. Um, you can put some poles on the floor you could get even some sticks or stakes anything will do as long as the dog can see it and they've got enough to step over that's more than acceptable we're not asking you to spend loads of money on equipment